So the next project is a really exciting one um, because I'm doing a mini knit along. Hello, my name is Mira and I'm the maker behind Mira's Knits here on YouTube and over on Instagram. And today I have a, another knitting diary update for you. I know it's been a while, but I had a lot of going on. And yeah, that's uh, the first time I was able to sit down and record. I did sit down last week and record, but I forgot to uh, mention some objects. So um, yeah, now I have the time to do it again. And yeah, we have quite a lot to go through. So let's start with um, my first finished pair of socks. Um, no, you don't know. So. I just started a new series on here where I draw one pattern from the 52 weeks of Bok, the first uh, Bok, Bok <laughs> socks, <laughs> um, from the first um, book. And then I take you along and do a little vlog of me knitting them and yeah, show you everything. I come across problems and all of that. And this video will be online tomorrow hopefully tomorrow i don't know if i'm able to edit this video today and put it up so today is friday i think the 10th of march i hope i'm able to put it up but it always takes a long time to upload so um yeah hopefully i have, have enough time but otherwise the video will be um online maybe on sunday i don't know so we'll see but yeah so um I, the first pattern i draw where the I need to focus it um the rocking chair socks by Paulina Caru at least that's what in my book I don't know if it's a um what's it called translating mistake since my book is in German but um yeah um in on Ravelry. <laughs> Her name is different, so I don't really know if uh, Paulina Carl is her real name. So um, I don't know, I can put both here, so I guess you can decide which is her name. But yeah, so I knitted these socks in some scrap yarn um, from socks. So the red is for my brand socks I knitted, and the glittery peachy yarn is from just simple vanilla socks I knitted. And yeah, so they turned out to be shorties. I did alternate quite a bit on this sock. I basically just used the stitch pattern. So normally I think they're knitted top down. So from you start at the cuff and knit down. But since I didn't know how much of the uh, glittery yarn I had and yeah, how far I can go, I decided to knit toe up and to be honest I always knit toe up with my socks <laughs> um, that's something I will always do and yeah and then I didn't do I think it's just a simple gusset heel or maybe it's a heel flap a gusset I don't know <laughs> but I just did an afterthought heel so what you do um, or <laughs> I guess what I did for the first time I put in some scrap yarn and then took it out, knitted the heel and yeah, wove in the ends. And yeah, I did a thinking mistake at the beginning. Maybe you or you will see it. I forgot to knit one just um, normal round, just knit round with the main color <laughs> um, because the first row of the pattern is a pearl row. And because of that, um, yeah, you can see that uh, we are changed the yarn, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't really like it. It bothers, bothers me some, but yeah, I guess I have to live with it. And yeah, so as you can see, they turned out to be shorties. I know they look long, but I think that's something with knitted socks. They always look so long. So we'll see, I guess. And oh yeah, the what's it called oh um yeah you know this part is just um garter stitched and i don't 
think that's smart because I feel like I just did just just too stretchy but yeah <laughs> that's what the pattern wanted and yeah um, they don't push down fall down I don't know how to call it so um, they stay on my foot and oh yeah I also alternated the stitches I used I don't know if I can say to be honest I don't even remember I probably used 26 stitches on each side so I always use magic loop um, and I always need 26 stitches on 2.5 millimeters <laughs> with my socks that's just how I know they fit the best and then I always knit 60 rounds and normally I put in stitch markers and then later cut the yarn and normally for the top part I do 40 rounds and then 20 rounds for the ribbing and with the afterthought heel I knit 5 rounds and then I start the decreases <laughs> that's yeah what fits my foot the best oh yeah and I always do an Italian cast on so that so that the cast on is not visible as you can see here but yeah i guess that's all about these socks or well, the yarn i dyed myself so it's sock yarn and both are i think it's 75 25 so 75 superwash merino 25 percent nylon but yeah so these are the fish socks I knit it from the boat. I guess not the first socks and I did knit them before but I said it in the video too. <laughs> Most of the socks I knit, I knitted 10 pairs from the 52 weeks of sock and they all have some flaws. <laughs> they are too big or too loose and I started my sock knitting journey with this book <laughs> and yeah um, of course um, you have to learn about the construction and what fits your body the best it's the same with garments and all that stuff so <laughs> now that I figured it out I'm able to yeah, knit the socks or socks that fit me good and I can wear outside and <laughs> that are not just at home socks but yeah <laughs> um, still socks I guess today we have a lot of socks I knitted the second sock from my design. Um, these are um, Eden, the Eden socks. I named them. I still have to write up the pattern. Um, but now that I finished the second sock, I think I'm able to. And I also wanted to knit them again in a lighter color, maybe shorter, so that I have shorties or I can, <laughs> um, yeah have shorties included in the pattern too. Um, these are again toe up, afterthought heel and then the two by two ribbing cuff and some pearl rows in there. Um, yeah, to just make it more enjoyable. Um, it's a lace pattern put in my hand so it's easier for you to see and I love the lace pattern I really want to knit um, a summer shirt in the pattern too but I have too many projects right now I need to finish so it's on the backboard burner corner um, but yeah someday I will be able to do them but Yes, so again, I dyed this yarn myself and I think it's the same blend, so 75 merino and 25% nylon. And yeah, I'm really loving this pattern. And it's quite addicting, to be honest, because you uh, change every, I think, four rows. So, oh no, it's eight. It goes by really fast. But yeah, these are my Eden socks. Maybe I can put in a video of me wearing them. I don't know. We'll see. Or I guess you would have noticed. Um, yeah, but let's move on to the next socks. And I think it's the last socks for this video. So it's still a work in progress. <laughs> I knitted one sock, just a simple vanilla sock with contrasting toe heel. And I hope it's visible some stripes in, in the cuff 
again, it's the normal stitches, so for, uh, 60, 40 and 20. And right now I'm working on the second sock. And yeah, here you can see how I normally do it. So I just put in my stitch markers uh, here, this one, and on the other side. And then I cut the yarn somewhere in the middle. So I put in the needles, cut the yarn in the middle, and then knit the afterthought heel. <laughs> and these socks have been on my needles for a long time. So I hope that I can maybe finish them today. That would be really cool. So <laughs> I guess we'll see if I'm able to. Um, yeah, these are just simple vanilla socks. Um, there's really no pattern. Maybe I can tell you how to knit them. So, um, so I made them up by myself. But what I do, I use, uh, again, the Turkish cast on and cast on 10 stitches. Then I increase on each side. So I use a magic loop and on each needle, um, on each side, I knit one and then I increase one until I have 20 stitches and then I increase every other round. So I knit an entire round and then increase again in the next round. And yeah, so in each round you have four increases, of course. And yeah, then it looks like that. I don't know if you can see it. Um, um, so you have two normal stitches and then you have all the increases. And then I use a row counter like that to um, put in the stitch marker every 10 rounds. So I knit 60 rounds, but you really just knit um, until <laughs> your foot length is five centimeter less, um, because you need the five centimeters for the heel. Then I put in the stitch marker on each side on the back at that time you can decide which row you want to be the back, it doesn't matter. And then I normally knit 40 rounds. If you want to have them shorter, you can knit 30 or 20. And then I just do a two by two rib cuff for 20 rounds and do a, I don't know, two by two bind off. I don't know if there's a name. And how you do the afterthought heel when you put in maybe i don't know if i can show it so you put in your needle um one row under the stitch marker and one row over the stitch marker just like something like that um and then of course all the way and then you have one row that's not on your needles there you cut the yarn and then you pull it out so you have two strands on each side and then you just knit five rounds with whatever color you want and then again you do decreases every other round so you knit one do a decrease knit until there are two stitches left on the first needle and then do another decrease knit one and the same on the other side and then you knit an entire round and then do the decreases again until you have 12 stitches left uh, on each needle and then you just do the kitchener stitch and yeah sew them together and then you have your vanilla sock and yeah so of course um if you have a bigger foot or whatever you need more stitches but yeah sometimes some a lot of people oh yeah and that's for 2.5 millimeters I know a lot of people knit with 2.25 millimeters and do 60 stitches or 30 on each, but that's just what fits my foot the best. Yeah, so let's move on to a small project. I think I knitted this in one day, to be honest, or maybe two. Um, I wanted something to put in all my needles, so that's why it's a bit higher. And yeah, I still have to do a lining for this one, but it's just a pouch I did in my Aris stitch pattern, as you can see. So it's an alternated dimple stitch pattern and just stockinette at the bottom. And yeah, I just 
started at the top and did some increases. Did I start at the top or the... But no, at the top. <laughs> and yeah, so I did some increases and then I started a pattern that stuck in that. Did some decreases and again did the kitchener stitch here at the bottom. And yeah, I used the leftover yarn from my Acanthus Better by Twin Knits. It drops kit silk, so 75% mohair and 25% silk. And um, drops alpaca, that's 100% alpaca. I put in the color somewhere here, I don't know. And yeah, so I took this one to Berlin when I visited my mom or my family because um, we wanted to sew and I wanted to sew my lining but I forgot to take my bag so I couldn't do it so yeah there's just a zipper and I still have to sew the lining maybe I'm able to do it this weekend because my dad visits me here and brings me a sewing machine so that I can sew some bags but yeah so I don't know what really to talk about it. Um, I don't know if I'll write a pattern for this one because I have enough patterns to write <laughs> for now. Uh, maybe I will, maybe I won't. I guess we'll see. But yeah, I guess not a lot to talk about with this one. And moving on to the next. So the next project is a really exciting one um, because I'm doing a mini knit along with um, some knitting friends I met online. And yeah, we decided to knit a color work cardigan. There's not much to see. I just started the color work. And it's the, I don't know how to pronounce it. I thought it was Smilas, but it's something else um, by Zanita Knits. Um, yeah, I put in the name. So I'm doing this with um, Judine from Judine Knits and Rachel from Rachel's Knitting Bureau. Here on YouTube, I can link their channels uh, so that you can look them up. And yeah, that's just my progress. And I'm using all yarn from my stash, which is really exciting because this year I want to yeah get rid of a lot of the yarn from my stash. And yeah, so I'm using drops. Flora I bought for a zipper sweater by Petite, Ma Petite Knit, so zipper sweater man for my boyfriend, but um, I didn't like how the fit was, so <laughs> I didn't finish it. And now I'm using the yarn for this cardigan together with one strand of Baby Alpaca by BC Garn. It's um, 50 gram, uh, 250 meters. And yeah, it's I love the fabric it creates. It's so, normally the drops flower is not itchy, but you know, it's more of a woolly feeling and it's a bit dry. That's how I always feel like with, um, yeah, wool. And with the baby alpaca, just the one tiny strand, it's so soft, it feels so nice. And for the contrasting color, I'm using some sock yarn I dyed, and so the blue, and it looks like that, I have it here. And um, some mohair I bought way back for another sweater, but I never started the sweater, so now I'm using it for this one. And it's the Drops Kit Silk. So again, 75% um, kid silk and, no, not kid silk, mohair and 25% um, silk. And yeah, so it's a top-down Wrangler construction. I don't know if you can see the Wrangler part because it's uh, the yarn is so dark. And it is a challenge to knit with two strands and a darker yarn, but I'm really excited for, um, yeah, my first colorwork stripe. It's not the first colorwork project I did, 
but it's the first color work project I'm doing with the pearl round. Since it's a cardigan, you don't knit in the round and there's no sticking. To be honest, I hate the pearl round because it's so long. <laughs> I did four rounds in one day and then I just needed to knit on something else. So I hope maybe I can finish um, the first so it's, um, 20 rows of color work and then again just in one color. I hope maybe I can finish it today, but maybe yeah maybe not we'll see and yeah and one thing i learned or did for the first time are lifted increases i never heard of them before to be honest from now on i don't think i will do anything else it's just so much easier and so much faster and yeah maybe you can look into it it's it's not that hard at first it's bit of mm, I don't know <laughs> sounds hard and looks hard but it's really not that hard and if your needles are not as sharp at the tip I would recommend to do lifted increases um, because it's not that important for your needles to be sharp and I always had the problem or came across the problem with my open it or with wooden needles um, because they're not as sharp and I switched to these ones. Um, they're the Knit Pro Kibons. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I can link them down below. I love them. They're really sharp, even in the bigger sizes. I think this is a four millimeter, and I hope you can see it's still sharp. And I'll also use um, these needles for my sock projects. And I love them because the 2.5 millimeters are really sharp, so you have no problem knitting socks. And yes, I really love the fabric it creates, and I love that I can talk to other people because I had some problems in the beginning with my sleeve. I don't know, something wasn't adding up, so I just did a bit of myself and yeah, did some math, and now it's working out with the stitch pattern. And yeah, so I laugh that I'm not alone knitting this one because this one probably will take a long time. But yeah, we'll see. I hope I can finish it soon. But it's probably gonna take a long time with all the color work parts. But yeah, so that's it for this card again. Um, let me have a quick sip of water. And moving on to another project um, that I started, I don't know, a while back. <laughs> I don't know if it was in my last video, so it must have been three or four weeks. Um, with some scrap yarn, well, not, it's not scrap yarn, yarn from Stash. I really wanted to use, but it was too bright for me, so I wanted to do something to tone it down. So at first I just used a white mohair, but it wasn't enough for me. So I used another strand of drop flower in just the white color. And I know I've been talking about this design for a while. Um, first I did some swatches, maybe three or four videos back, um, with the green yarn. But yeah, I ended up with this yarn combination and then, um, yeah, as I said, at first I, it went by really fast. So I think I did the yoke in one or two days and then it's always the same. You come to the body and this one, I know it doesn't have a lot of stitches for the circumference, but because it's um, a tighter fit, you have to knit it longer because I don't know if I can show it. Um, I hope my needles will stay on, but um, when you stretch it out, it gets shorter, as you can see. And yeah, so this one has a wider neckline and uh, yeah, wide ribbing. And I love how this one fits on me. I hope I can put in some videos. I don't know if I have the time to record myself, but. Yes, now I'm really excited for the color and <laughs> I put in some progress keepers uh, or stitch markers to <laughs> motivate myself. Um, 
I don't know if you can see it. So here's the first one and here's the second. So I knit this part in one day and then I knit all of this in one day. And now I have to knit two more centimeters and then I have to knit five centimeters, I think, of the ribbing or four. And then the body is finished and we can move on to the sleeves. And yeah, so it's again a Wranglin construction. It has these white Wranglin stripes. And then you have a few increases and your white ribbing. And yeah, I did also try something new with this pattern. So I did a two by two cast on. That's how it looks like. And I think it turns out really good for my first try and first time. I love how this looks and yeah, so you have two by two ribbing on the top and how you do the two by two cast on, it's the same with um, the one by one. So you do the one by one cast on and then you do basically cables. So you <laughs> knit one uh, knit stitch, then you cable the next knit stitch over so you have uh, two knit stitches, then you have two purse stitches, and you do that all again. And then you join in the round, and you have your two by two ribbing. And yeah, so that's most of... So you have... I used um, some sock yarn I had left in my stash. That's the bright colored one. And then I used, as I said, one strand of Drops Kit Soap and White or Nature or something like that. I put it on the screen. And one strand of the White Drops Flora. I also had in my stash. <laughs> and then something funny. I needed another skein, so <laughs> I wind it up yesterday. And I don't know if my yarn line is broken, but I don't know what happened. It just looks weird. So it's flat. Um, normally, uh, where is it? It looks similar to this one. <laughs> so you can see the difference. Um, yeah, as I said, I don't know what happened. Maybe you can tell me if um, I did something wrong. But to be honest, there's not much you can do wrong. And yeah, so maybe you can see how much brighter the yarn is in real than uh, it is now with the white yarn and yeah i think it's a really cool springy summery colorway when it's a bit colder outside in the evenings to put on and it's just a uh, yeah it's worth i don't know if it has negative ease I, it would have probably um i didn't like um normally when i design something I take measurements and then I, yeah, you know, <laughs> do the math and figure out how many stitches I need. And with this time, I one, I just cast it on and knit it until it fit <laughs> on um, my bust and with my arms. And then I, yeah, joined it around and knitted the body. And yeah, so I'm planning on knitting another one of this, of course, when this one is ready. Maybe more as a sample, because then I can do all the math in a brown gray color. And yeah, I'm excited for this one to be finished. And yeah, in the last two days, I, I don't know, probably knitted around maybe 20 centimeters. So we're good now and I'm excited to knit on this one. And yeah, a lot of knitting. So this one... <laughs> is I guess old. <laughs> I finished this sweater four weeks ago I think and the funny thing is I designed and knitted this one in four days. <laughs> it was maybe, um, not maybe, it was a stress knit. So it's a top-down construction, has a folded hem, two by two ribbing and then some short rows in the back of course and then just some color stripes uh, and then again two by two ribbing on the cuff and oh no that's the hem and yeah so um yeah yeah <laughs> not um one thing that happens and i was really sad about it um the 
green yarn is some merino I dyed myself. Maybe you remember it from the baby net I did. It's the same yarn. And <laughs> the white yarn is just drop Zima one strand, so there's no more hair in it. Um, yeah, as I said, the green yarn was, I think, maybe the first one I dyed myself. And at that time, I didn't know that you have to wash the yarn after dyeing with soap. Because then all the um, dye that's still left in the garment, or not garment, in the wool, gets out. <laughs> I did do it. I just washed it with water. And then, of course, when I blocked this worn, it bleed. In, there are some parts where you can really see it here on the arm. Um, you can really see it. I don't know if you can see it in the video. And I think somewhere in front also. And there's some. <laughs> it's a, I don't know. Oh no, it looks like tomato soup. So I guess another bad thing. Um, yes, so. I want to knit another version of this one because I just love how it fits. I love how it feels. <laughs> and um, Yeah, I, I just don't have another DK white yarn left. So I have to order some more. And I also want to order some more mohair for another secret design I'm doing. <laughs> and I don't know, I just don't have the money right now to buy more yarn. Even if it's just drops yarn. And then again, I have so many projects I want to just finish for now. So, yes. I just love the sweaters. And maybe you can see it. I wore it quite a bit. Because it already peels. I don't know how to show that. Okay, good. I think you can see it. But, yeah. It's just a simple, easy, lovely knit arm loving so there will be another version i don't know when so i guess we'll see oh no i don't know what happened here looks like a hole hmm. yes i have to look later i did something wrong on the increases but yeah enough of this one let's move on to our last project so, <laughs> I know you've seen this one quite a bit. Um, this is another design by me. It's my Aeris slipper. So it's a slipper sweater with the dimple stitch pattern and top. And then it has just docking net and then whoop, three by three ribbing on all of it. And on the zipper part, it has, I don't know, I call it zipper band. <laughs> It's also a 3x3 three three ribbing. And yeah, last time you saw me finish one sleeve. And now I'm on the second sleeve. Oh, and I lost some stitches, as you can see. <laughs> it was in a corner for a long time. Because I ran out of the merino I'm using. I have some sock yarn in the colorway here. That's again dyed by me. And... <laughs> I started using it, but I'm not quite sure because it's a bit thinner and I think you can end a bit lighter and I think you can see it. I don't know. I have to knit more rounds because now I just knitted two rounds and I don't know if it's that visible on camera. I guess I will see later, but yeah, I love how this one feels and I really want to finish it. But yeah, I wanted to start and then I saw that the stitches fell off and then I was like, oh no, not today. I just didn't want to pick up more stitches. So yeah, I don't know. Something is with me to be uh, finishing my stuff. But one day this one will be finished as all my other knits, I guess. But yeah, so that's my little update. I hope I'm able to film next week to get back into my normal schedule and then my videos won't be that long because as I said I try to keep you more in my knitting up process and yeah try to do weekly videos where I can show you how much I knitted on the garment in one week and not just show you all my finished objects like I did today I guess 
and yeah so that's why i try to keep my videos or my videos are shorter because there's not that much to talk about and yeah i guess that's it for this video um yeah maybe you can subscribe and like this video if you liked if you have any questions just comment them down below and i try to get back to you and i hope i see you in my other videos or <laughs> next week